Norris in North America going into the playoffs. Um, I've seen it in solo queue countless times. Of course, it did get constantly chipped at in nerfs. People just, like, whenever set got played throughout the mid lane, it's now less and less tankier. Uh, but without the, too much interference from Legacy. Earliest Drake of the day by far. The previous two, about 11 or 12 minutes. Flash engage coming out as the Nautilus starts off the fight. Over the wall comes the set. Nice face breaker lands and Legacy Esports, baby. Oceania is on the board. At least they fight. human form to be able to apply that debuff with the red smite as Tay Finds himself in a pretty bad spot here against Tapoon and has to immediately drop the Hemo Plague. Going into the Sanguine Pool now as well. Hook shot oh. goes through. That is not what he was looking for. And now after tanking a turret shot, Tapoon is in some trouble. Considering Tay already had to flash away, he won't Still be able to zero, zero, zero here. Seeing if maybe he can set up a play as his jungler is looking to arrive. His mid laner as well. Sanguine Pool from Tay finding a little bit of damage. Spear will not connect onto the Vladimir. Tally is there. Face breaker playmaker, baby. Tapoon picks are still up. too high to be constantly healing. But now he's got it as Vlad is hitting that point where he's about to become dangerous, especially with Sheenie right next to him. Volley Bear's coming in, but a nice Hextech ultimatum to dodge away from the damage of the ulti. Sheenie with the flash over the wall. Bard coming in now, looking to maybe find the lockdown. There is your stun, beautifully done. Tapoon is out! And Bobbip grabs the kill on to Sheenie. So actually one... uses Bard ultimate topside, so he's not going to be able to defend the turret on this one. Yep, Shelly gets to charge for free. There's only 20% HP left, but now the play is coming in. Now INTC is trying to force the fight. Isle's taken low, tries to get himself away from that one. The Nidalee flashes, but for no good reason. The kill was guaranteed, and now the summoner spell is gone, too. Go up 2-0 in Drake's early pool coming out from Taze. Vladimir, as now they're re-engaging, they know he doesn't have the aggro drop any longer. The Haymaker comes out, and Tally grabs the kill, running away on the set. The turret And I think they did a good job here. Even though you can see INTC taking a lot of great control through Mid. Oh no, please. Oh, he buffered it and flew through the air as a golden statue. Teleports coming in from both sides. Isles tanking up at the front. Goes drowsy, goes into stasis. INTZ are able to find the damage. Tapoon walks himself away. Tally looks for the chance to maybe make something happen, but it's just not there. INTZ with a disengage. Envy still looking to find a little bit of damage here with the paddle stars, but once more, the chase can't happen for either side. Yeah. Tapoon takes damage from the true shot barrage. See at the he very has... beginning of it, because they had Camille play through topside base, wants to go through mid, because at that point, Vladimir's not going to be a part of the play, right? It's going to be Legacy getting full control, and this is the fight that they're looking for. It might be on top of Vladimir. Okay, having to use the pool there to get himself away, loses about half of his HP in the wild card tournament. We don't even have that anymore. Tristana getting caught out here in the mid lane. Reyes could be in some trouble. The stun down onto Isles. Reyes nearly killed. Here comes the forward play from the Ezreal. It's two, one already dead on the side of LGC. One on INTZ. Tally trying to find something here in retaliation. Sheeny barely hanging on to life now. here. Yeah. 5,000 gold 20 minutes into the game is quite an obstacle to climb here for INTZ. The engages must be effective. They must be coordinated. Good CC there on to Reyes from Redbert, making sure he can provide the opportunity for some damage from Macau. Envy's still off the side. And oh! See some pings going through. Reyes nearly going to be killed. And now Tapoon's joined the fight. He finds the Hextech ultimatum onto the enemy AD carry, but now he's the one who's got to be running away. Nice shift ah! coming out from Macau, but he's not quite able to find the kill. And Bobbit gets in and cleans him up. The low health bars are just fading INTZ into a bad situation. Tally's able to find the ulti onto the volley bear. Face breaker onto two, but now Tally's in trouble. Now Tally's having Kill to run somebody. away. The pool coming out from the Vladimir. They get the kill into Bobbit. How in the hell did Tally walk away from that one alive as well? That's three people you could have killed. Teleport cannot make it down here, and that means INTZ will put themselves on soul point, now demanding an answer from Legacy at each subsequent dragon. Tay is exhausted as he goes for the Hemo Plague onto Isles, re engage with the dredge line. Redbird is right there looking for the stun onto the enemy support, and Isles is gone. Pickup kill for INTZ. Lane, they have to wait on their side lane timers, but they're not. Uh, Raze get, get, you know, pushes the wave in too much alongside uh, Isles, gets caught off guard, it pulls Tofoon towards them, and so it turns into these fights. Macau, oh, <laughs> I, was, wow. I couldn't even say he was in trouble before he's already dead. Ezreal, his second death of the game, getting picked off here as Legacy find the kill on the enemy. And I like how early INTZ are here. They're not waiting to get set up with sub-30 seconds left. They already want to be down there clearing out those wards.
Yeah, and INTZ have been a team, especially domestically, that at this point in time, they're not going to just sack a wave. They're going straight for Rays. Rays. Oh! Wow. INTZ must respond. Yeah, they do. Uh, they got Earth, Soul. They should go for this fight. I think they scale better as a team. But they're just going to outright Oh, win. the Baron's already taken, and now the fight is going to be breaking out. Sheeny's on the front line. He's trapped in the Hextech ultimatum. He has to flash to get himself away, but the rest of INTZ is now coming Whoa. in. Look at Raze. He is fearless going after this Ezreal. He jumps right back into the fight, looking to find even more damage. Tally's going to grab the ulti onto Macau, looking to find the Haymaker, maybe the Playmaker for the damage. And now Tay is in there. There's some bad blood on the battlefield. The Hemo Plague will wipe them out. Now he's in some trouble again as the True Shot Barrage comes through. The rest of the team cannot engage. There we go. Front line. He's being juggled around. They're going to take him down. Volley Bear ulti used defensively, getting himself away. Tapoon going to be bursted. Hemo Plague comes through. Tapoon's going to die, and Tay takes the kill. Now Tally's on the run, and INTZ are on the chase. It's a five versus four on the map. They'll try to continue pursuing this. Everybody but back. They're all all right, Envy might be in a pretty tough position, but Bard is just saving. Take a look at how much damage now oh. the set's taking. And now the Bard ult, he's ready to go here again. This is why Bard is always banned against INTZ, sports fans. Isle stuck in the middle of everybody, and it is a slaughter. Legacy Esports will have no legacy left to speak of if INTZ has anything to say about it. Tay goes on a rampage. The Vladimir has scaled. Welcome to Count Vladland. He is huge this game. 304 CS because they are actually letting him push for a long Elder time. Elder Drake is alive back in the base. What's this? It's Tapoon making sure he's in the split push situation every single time. TP's coming in. Flash away coming out from Sheeny. Not Isles walks himself out. Sleepy Trouble Bubble down onto a different target. Bivap not going to be killed by that just yet. INTZ still looking to respond here to the fight. Reyes coming around from the side. Reyes going to be in some trouble. Tally oh. gets the kill onto Macau. Over the wall comes the projectile. Envy gets the kill onto Reyes. And now Legacy is once again in a losing fight. INTZ looks for the rest of the damage onto the set, onto the middle, but a nice kill coming out from the two of them together. So much tankiness. The Haymaker blocking the burst. A beautiful outplay from these two players of Legacy Esports. This is the kind of thing that can change a game. So perfectly timed by the set. Very well done by the Nidalee. Redbird is down. The man is cougar food. That's the kind of fight that Legacy needs to keep themselves in this game. This game is a chock full of messes and a chock full of creativity from Legacy. Always trying to pressure INTZ to respect that side lane. They had Camille and Seth up there. Seth says, okay, you got this. I got you. I'll TP to the fight. And they're fighting for that Elder. Elder Drake is alive. Vlad is here to try to stop him. Nidalee has no smite. The Elder Drake is fully stealable by the Vladimir because Vlad oh. does not have a smite to be able to secure this. Vladimir right back into the pit. Okay, Elder Drake secured. That was big. They couldn't afford to lose that one. Tay goes into the stasis trying to keep himself alive. Sanguine Pool now used. Burst coming down. Breathe your breath, Mr. Set. Inhibitor is gone. That's Inhibitor now in two lanes. Reyes is jumped on. Ezreal moving forward, looking to find the damage. Volley Bear now chasing. Ulti is used. Tay's been killed. At the onset of the fight, they're able to find the kill onto the enemy Vlad, but it's going to be a trade one for one. Top laners are down. Sheeny's still tanking up at the front line. Tally going to be doing the same. Sheeny's out of the picture. Reyes grabbing the kill. Now INTZ have to try to hold the line as a three-man. They managed to pick the kill onto the enemy Nautilus. Tally's still chasing after him. Face Breaker's not going to find the target. Stunned up into the wall yet again by the Bard. INTZ in a 3v3. You lose this in hit, you are drowning in a sea of super minions for the next five minutes, and it looks like they forgot to bring their scuba gear. Legacy Esports still continuing to put the screws to INTZ and go for the win right here. Sleepy Trouble Bubble down onto Reyes, but the follow-up isn't there in time to be able to take advantage of the situation. Reyes continuing the push. He's They're got Bobbin right next to him for the heals. He's got Tally in front of him to be able to provide the tanking. Look at how quickly the turrets fall. Now it's Bard trying to stop him. It's Macau trying to get away, and Reyes says no. The amount of damage coming out from Legacy Esports is extreme and over. Oceania will find their first win of Worlds 2020. Woo! They were digging in that dirt, my man. That was a grimy, hard-fought game from Legacy because, like, it's fine in the moment when you... JBO Việt Nam, đỉnh cuối đỉnh. JBO Việt Nam, đỉnh cuối đỉnh. Truy cập ngay jbovnn.com.